I had a few wines tonight. I figured I'd make a video. Probably not, not a good idea, but um, this is a Model M that's a terminal Model M. You see this RG45 at the end of this thing? This is uh, kind of an odd duck. Not really an odd duck. I mean, it's fairly common. These these came with with uh, I don't know, probably AS400s. I guess I don't know. I'm not sure what what the application was, but as you can tell, it has kind of strange keycaps. I guess you can see like it's got like send. And, you know, print line, jump, a bunch of other stuff that's just not quite normal for Model M's. And uh, out of the box, you really can't use it uh, with a normal PC. You need some sort of converter. So uh, I had this for a while, and it was more or less useless. But then I bought this thing, which is... A Soarer's Converter. Now a Soarer's Converter is, in this case, it goes from RG45 to USB. But there are other models that go from PS2 to USB and from SDL, which is the, the kind of connector that goes on the back of a modular Model M to USB. And um, then there's one other one, I think, that goes from like a right angle Model F XT, I think, something, something like that. There, there, there's a number of different variants that uh, that you can either buy or build. This is an open source project. I happened to buy this on, this one on eBay. Unfortunately, I think he's all sold out at this point. Um, he sold hundreds of them, but I went on there today and it, it, seemed, it looks like he's he sold out. But uh, I'm sure if you just Google for Soar's converter, either on eBay or or somewhere else, that something will pop up. And, um, and yeah, so anyway, I wanted to show you what it takes now, uh, to, to get one of these things going. And really it's not, this isn't really about the terminal Model M because you can get one of these for just a normal Model M and it's still useful. And the reason why is because you can do these keyboard mappings now, like over here I have, I have this, this, uh, gem of a, a label there. And it says cut, copy, paste, undo. And what I, what I meant to do was sort of say this is cut, this is copy, this is paste, this is undo. And this actually will, I, I've configured this source converter so that these keys will work. Not only will they work, but they'll work on both Mac and Windows and Linux, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So you can, you can write macros and save them in the converter. You can do key mappings. Like over here, I have the caps lock key ma mapped to either Apple or Windows or whatever you want to call it over here. I call it left GUI because that's what the thing says. And now down here, you know, I, I've mapped these keys down to to volume up, down, and mute down there. And this is, you can do all this in software, but it's just kind of a pain and, and the converter is actually just a little bit better at doing it. So I'm going to show you how to configure the converter and I'm going to do that on Linux. If you don't have Linux, I'm sure you can do it on Windows. I just... Uh, that's, that's Linux is what I got, so that's what I'm using. All right. Well, now I'm at my Linux computer here. I'm recording on in an Emacs shell for no no good reason. It's just because if I try to use OBS to record a terminal in here, it doesn't doesn't want to work. So don't pay any attention to the fact that I'm using Emacs here. It's not really all that important, but. Um, uh, what I wanted to show you was the tools that you can use to configure this thing and how and basically the little language that you can use to set up key mappings and macros and what have you. So this tool is on GitHub and it is called uh, SC Tool. I think I think that's misnamed this SC Tool thing, but cat uh, config. It's on GitHub. Uh, no, it's called SC Tools. Okay, so that's where you can get it from. I'll, I'll link that in the description below. But it's uh, this is for Linux. Uh, basically, it's it, you, you need this, and there's there's a README and whatever you can you'll figure it out. But um, it's not all that difficult to configure. Um, oh, look, it's got this hit API submodule. That's pretty cool. That's cool. 
I guess it downloads it for you. Uh, anyway, um, so the source converter that I showed you is plugged into USB on my computer at this point, and um, what I wanted to to show you, I guess, is the language that you use to configure it. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this file here, and I'm going to go into chris.se, which is where I have my stuff. So what I want to do is I want to remap. So so a number of these things. Uh, da, 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 yeah. So the the things that I have highlighted here: F13, F23, Lang4, Escape, Numlock. This terminal key, this terminal keyboard, just has some some mismapped keys out of the box. And oh, sorry, is that right? Yeah. Uh, basically, these three up top, you know, out of the box, the jump key, which is on the uh, on near the, uh, on the numpad, is escape, and escape is something silly. <laughs> and uh, then you have to map escape back to cut yeah. it's a little confusing here but we'll get through it we'll get through it so um, th this thing takes care of both the, the the keys that are 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 incorrectly mapped basically these three keys f13 uh, when you press escape on this on this terminal m F13, it thinks it's F13, and when you press print screen on this this terminal, it thinks it's F23, and when you press pause on it, it thinks it's Lang4, which is like Hidoku or something, or I don't know what it is, some Japanese thing. So these things fix that. So we, we, we remap those. And then um, what it thinks escape is here, we it's supposed to be numlock, we don't really care about numlock, so we map it to cut, which is you know basically the the cut key key binding, and then we map <laughs> numlock, which is actually not numlock. It's it's supposed to be the slash key on the on the on the terminal keyboard to copy, and we map scroll lock, supposed to be the asterisk to paste, <laughs> and we map. Uh, the keypad minus, which is minus, on uh, you know, it's 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 it, when you push it, it presses this extra sys request thing to undo. So you could tell, I chose to I chose to sort of abuse the num the the numpad because it's it's got it all wrong. So it's it's easy enough to I mean, why fix it? Just use other use other keys for this thing. So then we remap the uh, keypad period to the media volume up. We map zero to medium volume down, and we map pad plus. Uh, which is actually enter on this particular keyboard, uh, the keypad enter to mute, and then finally we remap the caps lock key to the left left Apple or Windows key, which is left GUI. So uh, in this case, if I press left GUI, it'll it'll pop up in Ubuntu. It'll pop up the well Ubuntu Mate. It'll pop up the menu, and on Apple you can use it. Um, on Mac you can use it for you know cut, copy, paste, whatever. Um, and then on the keypad. The keypad number one selects a, a layer. Or I, I should say, I guess, does it select a layer? Yeah, it selects, selects a layer. Sure, why not? Um, and th that'll select the Linux layer, and the number two on the keypad will select the Mac layer. So when we plug it into a Mac, we have to press two on the keypad so that it does the right thing. We push it, plug it into a, a Windows or Linux computer, we, we press one on the keypad, and it starts to do the right thing. So in any case, this little language here uh, is very simple. Um, it, it has a number of conditionals like if select, and then some stuff underneath of it, which only happens to be in this case, case a remap block, and another if select, and uh, the stuff underneath of it is a, a number of macros in a macro block, and then there's another conditional here. This is for Mac, and underneath that we have a bunch of macro block things, or macro block rather. And then finally, we configure. We have a conditional that says if any layer is selected, and somebody presses the the one key on the keypad, then activate the first layer. 
the layer one. And if they press the two key on the keypad, activate layer two. So what, what it means is that if we press the one key on the keypad, it all this stuff, the any stuff, if select any, will be true because it's any any layer. And the stuff for Linux or, or Windows really uh, will will happen as well. But what, what will not be in effect is the is the are the Mac key bindings here. And if we select press two on the keypad, then the inverse will happen. Of course, all these all these remappings will happen because it's for any any layer. The Linux layer won't happen, but the Mac one will. Hey man. So this is pretty simple. Um, basically, this remap. Uh, so we, we say if if for any layer, we're going to remap. Keys, and this, that's what this remap block thing does. And all these all these commands are described. The SC Tools checkout has a subdirectory called docs, which has HTML files in it that describe the little language that you can use. Um, but this remap block, we say if some if F13 is pressed, translate that to escape. And what that does is because out of the box the terminal keyboard that I have anyway, if I press escape. It, it thinks it's F13. We remap that. And when I press print screen, which isn't really labeled print screen, but on a normal model, model M it would be print screen, it, it thinks it's F23, so we'll remap that. And then if I press pause on the keyboard, it thinks it's some weird thing, so I remap that to pause. And then at that point, th then it gets starts to get a little bit weird because we are, we're not actually mapping escape, the escape key that's up on the upper left side. We're mapping this key that's effectively num lock on a normal keyboard to cut, uh, which is this, the first upper left hand key on the numeric keypad to cut. And then we're mapping <laughs> what it thinks num lock is, which is supposed to be the backslash, sorry, the forward slash to copy. And we're mapping scroll lock, which is an actually scroll lock on any other keyboard. It's the asterisk to paste. And then we're mapping extra sys request, which is the minus key, <laughs> to undo. So what we're doing is we're saying, if somebody presses num lock, issue cut. If somebody presses uh, the slash key, copy. If somebody presses the asterisk, paste. If somebody presses the keypad minus, undo. And I know this is, yeah, I, I get it's confusing because the the, the keys are are not labeled out of the box right but you'll get what I'm talking about if whatever man so uh, here's where here's where we deal with our our media keys we say the keypad period is uh, and that's sort of the second key on the bottom row of the keypad we say that goes volume up so that's like the dot and we say the zero key on the, on the keypad which is you know the zero key on the keypad <laughs> say down and then if we press the enter key on the keyboard um, it's the mute and then finally we map the caps lock key to you know the windows key the left left windows key or left apple key and this is true for both mac and linux so then uh, we say if we've selected the first layer then we make this macro block and what the macro block does is it issues multiple key presses. And uh, this thing here, this macro cut, what this refers to is a is a key. And we've already mapped, th this thing happens in stages. So we've already mapped something to cut. So when I press the quote unquote escape key, which on the keyboard that I showed you is like that, what's supposed to be numlock, it's labeled jump. <laughs> uh, uh, then we, we issue, we, we, we remap to the cut, which actually doesn't really work. There's a, there, there are cut, copy, paste, and undo keystrokes in, um, in the key, bind, of, of key bindings of keyboards, but at least on Linux, they don't actually do anything. So we, we need to, we're remapping it to the cut keystroke, but then we're, we're catching it down here. We're saying, okay, if, if somebody presses cut, which is what would happen if somebody presses the numlock key or the jump key on this keyboard, 
um, we're going to say set the meta key to control and we, we push this onto a stack press X so that's control X and then we pop it so that's cut same thing for copy same thing for paste with copy C paste is V undo Z and that's all that's all there is to it and then for the Mac it's the same thing this won't this this block because uh, in the mode where you're in in layer two won't take effect on Linux but um, it'll catch cut it'll set the meta to left GUI which is instead of control which is the Apple key more or less so it'll be Apple X Apple C Apple V Apple Z and that's it so in any case this this particular mapping is very confusing because of the because of the labeling of the keys but on a normal keyboard it's you know if you got the PS2 version or whatever it's not going to be quite as confusing so uh, the the way that you actually use this thing is you uh, let's see here Chris okay so I so that was Chris.sc so in order now I have this source converted plugged in to my USB right now so I can the, the way that you can compile that thing into a dot bin file is you can say uh, let's see oops SCAS I have these things installed I, I, I made this thing and installed it globally so I can I can issue these commands Chris dot SC and I think let's let's look at the help of this thing I forget exactly what the yeah, yeah. So we can do SCAS, and that means source converter assemble. Um, Chris.sc to Chris.bin. And it wrote Chris.bin there. So let's see what happens if we have an error in this thing. We'll, 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 we will deliberately inject an error. I just put an A there so that this won't compile anymore. So I know that one happens to work. Okay, so it says error line 16 invalid command. So we'll go back to Chris.sc and we'll say, oh, there's line 16. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Get rid of that. So it's quite a nice little, nice little tool. Um, so at that point, we have a, a binary file that we can now upload to the Teensy or to the to the source converter, which has a uh, Teensy uh, embedded system in it. And the way we do that is we can say um, SC tool, and let's look at the help for that. I forget exactly how to do this too. SC tool info. Let's let's do SC tool info now. For this thing on Linux, I have to do sudo because uh, it won't read the command. So we can see right now that we have a source source converter that has ooh, a whopping twenty eight sixteen bytes. Whew. Wow. Um, and we can now uh, we can now write our our bin file so we can sc2 write uh, input file chris.bin not chris.sc oh did I write it to something wrong sc2 Right, Chris dot Ben. I have to use sudo to do that. Okay, it wrote it. And basically, that's all that it takes in order to remap those keys. And if you saw, you know, you saw the label <laughs> on the on the front of it. If I if I push those keys, that it, you know, if I push cut copy paste, it'll it'll press it'll do Control C X V Z. Um, and if I push the zero keypad key, it'll it'll turn my music down. If I push the keypad plus key, it'll turn my music up. And if I press the enter key on the keypad, it will it will mute my music. And if I press caps lock, it'll it'll think that it's the left windows key. And that's basically about it. Okay, well, I've got this thing hooked up on, up to my Mac, and. Uh, what I wanted to show you was that indeed it does work. Uh, the things that I did on in the converter do uh, have an effect. So I have this keyboard and it's hooked up to my USB hub 
through the source converter there. And um, it's in Mac mode. Uh, remember, we, we have to push the, this 2 key to get into Mac mode. By default, it's in Linux mode. I, I've already pushed the 2 key. So we're going to select something on the screen. And we're going to say copy. Now this is cut, copy, paste, undo. We're going to copy it. Nothing happened on the screen. Let me press copy. And then we're going to, I'm going to push the paste key and I'll see what happens on the screen. Ooh, look at that. It worked. Hee hee hee. And over here we have our left GUI, which, which means um, left Apple key, or left option key anyway. And if I do the same thing over here, press Control V, it works. It's not Control V, it's Apple Apple V. So you can see that this thing is, comes in really handy because you can just hook up, you know, take that keyboard around any computer, and it'll mostly work as long as you have it in the right mode. Um, yeah, man, it's really cool. Um, again, like I said, I think that one guy sold out on eBay. You can build it yourself. I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, I'm sure somebody's got it. I'm sure somebody's selling one out there. There's, there's, if you go to Geek Hack or Desk Authority or something, somebody's got to get one. Anyway, that's all, man. See you.